ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 tea test. This is Jenny and I would like to introduce you for the new century. And today we got the tool guy. Welcome, Patrick. Hey. Hey, Jenny. Hello, Patrick. Hey, everyone. Um, I'm Patrick from FENC. This year, where FENC continues to focus on sustainability and innovation mm -hmm. with the target of reaching carbon net zero by 2050. And um, as a company, we're trying to be more engaging and impactful in people's daily lives. So what that means is that in today's uh, exhibition, what you can see is that other than apparels, uh, footwear, backpacks, we're also supplying a lot of food containers, bottle packaging, uh, car aut automobile seat belts, airbags, so all sorts of stuff in this year's exhibition. So basically for all the daily life that you need, everywhere, everyone, and every day. You're absolutely right. So today, can you tell us and guide us around of the booth? Right, so in today's short tour, what we're going to be talking about are the three core technologies okay. that FENC is currently using in terms of recycling. Okay. So we're going to be talking about um, Air Force, which is recycling from the air. Oh, hey. And then Army, which is recycling from the ground. And of course, Navy, which is recycling from the ocean. Ocean, so can't wait for that. So let's go. All right. So here is the first part, Air Force. Yeah, so um, this is one of our newest technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, with our partners, FENC was the first in the world to come up with the CCU technology, which is short for carbon capture and utilization. So by definition, what that means is that we're collecting carbon from industrial factories, okay. and then we're making that into uh, ethanol, and then ethylene glyco, and then ultimately into uh, material for uh, PET. Oh. Okay. So um, what this technology uh, actually does is that we collect from industrial factories, right? So okay. this is waste generated from industrial uh, use. Okay, so they close the problem and you make a solution. Yes, and uh, the coolest part about this is that the fiber property or the textile property is exactly the same as virgin polyester, the same functional, uh, the same specs, and the same diability. Okay. So as of now, as we can see, we're already working with a lot of the top tier yoga brands mm -hmm. and also the sportswear brands. Mm -hmm. So everyone's on board in terms of this new theme of marketing. So let's take a quick look at what we have showcased today. Yes. Um, as a board, as you can see, these are award-winning products for FENC. And this shirt that we're currently looking at is a combination of this Bio3 PET, which is recycled from CO and CO2. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So that is from air, actually, before, but now we can touch it. <laughs> yes, you can touch it, you can and feel it. it, and you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this is the Bio3 blended with the uh, extremely comfortable Nylon 66 solution dye. So it also saves water and energy when dyeing the uh, without having to dye the fabrics. And also, as you can see, similarly, yeah. um, the backpack over here that yes. we see is also made from the same polyester that was recycled from the air. Mm -hmm. okay. So these products have been awarded the ESPO Best Product this year, yes. and also being the only company from Taiwan to receive the ITMF 2022 awards. Oh, I really like your idea because actually before that is only the concept, but now we can really see the product, you can wear it, you can hold it back. So the time's ready for the next stop. Yes, let's, let's okay, do let's it. Go. Second round is army. army. So this part is recycling from the land. Yes, recycling from the land. So first we have to say that we've been recycling plastic bottles for a long time. Mm -hmm. but we're proud to share that in 2021, FENC recycled a total of 20 billion plastic bottles. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of bottles. So just to give you an idea, that's enough bottles to circle the earth 115 times. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, saving about 580,000 tons of carbon. But today, what we really want to talk about is something new, a, re a more recent focus yes. on textile wastes. Okay. So we all know that textile wastes can be generated from yarns, fabrics, garments to right. sold apparels. Okay. So what FENC has come up with is something called the Artex series, mm -hmm. which is short for Recycled Textiles. Okay. And there are two ways to do this. Mm. Uh, so one is, um, they're both mechanic mechanical. So one is by melting, 
which by definition means that we're collecting PET waste. Okay. We're melting it into resins and we're re-extruding re and manufacturing of the filaments. Okay. And the second methodology is something called the mechanical shredding process. Okay. So as you can see, this it way. starts from the fabric or garments and then we shred them into fibers and then into yarns where a lot of possibilities can be blended and mixed. Yes. And once we go to the yarn stage, everything just happens naturally because fabrics and end products can be made accordingly. So actually you can see the final product in the booth today. So the final part, we have uh, air, we have land. The final part will be the ocean. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Patrick, I'm ready to swim, but here is World Cup. Yeah. Why? What's the connection with the ocean? So Jenny, yeah, as you know, Far Eastern sponsors a lot of sporting events, right? We're yes. jersey providers. Right. So there's, it's not different this year. So Far East Center is a proud supplier of 2022 World Cup. Okay. And this year, we're bringing ocean recycling onto oh. the table. So we're recycling either plastics from the ocean mm -hmm. or on the way to the ocean mm -hmm. into uniforms for nine countries, seven of which have made the World Cup finals. Okay, but you know for this year, there is a very hot weather. So is that suitable for them? Right, so as we all know, Qatar is extremely hot. Yeah. So, and, and on top of that, soccer, is, football, is a sport that requires a lot of physicality. Right. So what we do in terms of fabric design yes. is that we use the Aero Ready technology to allow more lightweight, quick dry, and at the same time, extra breathability. And also because of such a physical sport, mm -hmm. um, we've increased um, the stretch Yes. and strength of the fabric mm -hmm. through a technology called anti-busting. Okay. So with that, we're sure that the athletes can have an optimal performance. Okay, so it's really suitable for the game. So today we already know a lot of the interesting information. So anything else? Um, that's about it for today, but we, I, we hope that you guys are ex as excited as we are. Yeah. And um, we hope you can make your way down to the Far Eastern booth at TTES 2022 and see how FENC brings sustainability to your daily lives for everyone, everywhere, and every day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Thanks. Jenny.